In this Ellerton Associates Technology Training Tip of the Month, I'll show you how to attach files to project plans in Project 2010 or 2013. Okay, I have a project plan up. This is Project 2013, but this would work identically in Project 2010. This is a small project, an employee survey with very few tasks. The idea of what we're going to do is that you use your project plan file to manage the tasks, potentially the resources. You can see I've got some assignments here, but Ultimately, you'll have external files to deal with as well. Maybe there are Word files like the project charter. It could be a Word document or status reports for the project. It could be Word documents. There may be a multitude of Excel files showing budget information for the project. And what I can do is attach those files into this plan. So this plan is still kind of the all-in-one place for managing the project. So what I'm going to do is attach a couple of files to the summary task. Now you can attach them to any task. If you double click a task, for example, if I double click draft survey, it brings up the task information dialog box and we'll be attaching these files to the notes tab. Now that would be just for draft survey. I'm gonna cancel that. If I double click the project summary task at the top of the project, you get summary task information, same idea though. I'm going to click the Notes tab and we're going to attach some files. So the Project Summary task is a good place to attach files that relate to the project as a whole, and then any individual task can also have different files attached to them that relate to that task. Now, when I attach this file into the Notes tab, or when you create notes of any type, you'll get an indicator here in the Indicators column. Now, if I don't type any text in this note box, though, when I point at the note, the indicator will be blank, and that could be confusing. So I'm going to at least put a label for the file that is attached. So I'll put in Project Charter. I'm actually typing that. And then I'll just hit Enter and put the file below. So I'm going to click Insert Object. Now, I could create a brand new Word file or Excel file right here and save it, but I do have these already created. I've got some templates to use for the project charter and for my project budget on my desktop, and I'm going to attach those. So I'm going to go create from file. I'm going to browse out to my desktop, and I'll start with the project charter. Now, if I link, what that means is the project charter technically still lives on my desktop, but anyone who has access to this project plan could link to it, except if you think about it, no one can link to my desktop. So you would only want to use this option if this project charter is stored in the network location that everybody has access to who's going to be using the project plan. And then it would still live in that location. It could be open from there as well individually, but it would be easily accessible from within the project plan. If I don't link it, then it's only in this project plan, only in the employee survey task. And then anyone who can open this file can definitely open and edit this project charter. And that's the way I'm going to do it. It just depends on how you want to set it up. Either way is going to make that charter easier to get at for people managing the project from within the project file. I'm going to go ahead and not link it. I'm going to put a copy of it in here. And once I do that, I can delete the one on my desktop and the one in the project plan will still exist. Now I am going to choose display as icon. I think you'll generally always want to do that. And the reason is that if you don't, the whole text of the document will go in this notes panel. So that charter could be 20, 30 pages, and I don't want to see those all here, especially if I'm going to have multiple file attachments. You'll want to display them all as an icon. You can change the icon. The only benefit here really is it's a Word document, but you can change its label. So if it mattered to me, I could change the label to Project Charter as well. And then when I click OK, that'll be a little more clear. I'm going to click OK here to insert it. It'll take a moment, but it'll pop in there. So there it is, Word Icon Project Charter. Now again, even though I renamed it, that name here on the icon would not have shown up in the indicator. I still had to type the actual text Project Charter. Just to show you that, I'll click OK. So here now on the Project Summary task is an indicator in the Indicators column that there's a note. Note again, it only says Project Charter that I typed. The actual file you can't get at from the indicator, it just shows there is a note. But if I want to view and edit the charter, I double click the task. And then on the Notes tab, which I have to click if it wasn't already selected, there it is. Now I can double click Project Charter. It's going to open in Word. I could go ahead and, and enter data here and start creating the charter. But anytime I save it, or I should say anytime I close it, it is saved. And it's saved to this copy that lives in the project file. So anyone who can open up this project plan can now also open and edit the project charter. And I can have multiple documents like this. Here I'll hit Enter and I'll put in the project budget which I also have an Excel template for. So I'll enter the text. I'll click Insert Object and actually go out and browse to the file. 
And again, I'm not going to link it. I'm going to have it live entirely within this project plan, but definitely display as an icon. Again, I could change the icon. I'll just change it to budget as the label and click OK and it'll pop in. And then I'll click OK. Anyone looking at the indicator will see that there are a couple of things and they'll have to double click that task. I can double click the budget. Excel will open up and opened up at a weird size on my screen there, but there it is. And I could start filling in this budget. And that's just, I'm going to click OK a couple times here. That's just documents attached to the project summary task. I can have separate documents attached following the same routine for all of these tasks, or at least for those tasks that have related documents. So now this project plan is going to be kind of the all in one place and everything lives inside the plan, even my external or previously external Word and Excel files. To learn more about our classes, please visit us at www.ellertraining.com.